Hello everyone, my name is the partner. In this tutorial, we'll be uh, taking, uh, we'll be trying to build a real app on Chromework 7, and our app will be a notes taking app, and then uh, we'll try to use it to cover all the remaining topics. If at the end of building our note taking application, and we still haven't covered all the topics, something we can do simply is to try to improve the features in our note taking app. That is make sure that um, we have stuff like geolocation maybe when someone is uh, actually um, jotting down something on their phone it will tag the location so next time they are reading what they wrote they will see we can view a map you know uh, of where they actually did it so stuff like that we could add so many other features if we are not able to cover finish the whole uh, topics by after building this app all right i believe uh, most people learn better when they are uh, following an app and I have created a new folder in my WAM server and that folder is called Note 7. Just the, the way we did the other time, I uh, uh, used um, PhoneGap software to create Note 7 and then imported, uh, I named it Note 7, then we imported uh, Framework 7 into it and uh, everything is okay. So far, if you notice the size of your app, you see that it is um, mine is 12 megabytes. It's because of um, of this folder that PhoneGap added. This folder, not this folder, um, this folder, platforms. PhoneGap added this folder and it's it's making it very huge. So uh, what I usually do is when I want to upload to PhoneGap and convert it to an app, these are the only two folders I take along with me convert it to an app uh, or maximum of this assuming I, I had some some plugins you know if I downloaded some plugins I will just take these three and um, zip them together and upload them leaving out these ones so depending on what you're uh, uh, good at and then I've, I've thought before how to upload it just go to my my channel on YouTube this is a brain temple uh, uh, channel on YouTube if you want to come to this channel you you visit printem org youtube.com slash c slash printem org and um, when you arrive you look for a particular tutorial called ratchet um, ratchet is just like framework 7 i've taught it before look at it then when you click on it um, it will open um, let us try to open the ratchet tutorial when it opens you just go for the last tutorial there um, with Ratchet converting app to Android iOS. You just see how to upload your app and convert it to an Android and iOS. All right, just um, how to upload and use the phone app. So that has been, that's having been settled. Let's try and view our app. Remember I told you our app is just for jotting stuff and taking notes. I visited note seven and then you click on www directory. And um, this is the app. And what we can do is to to minimize it so remember how we roll when we minimize it you right click and um, inspect element and when the inspect element shows up uh, you make sure that this button is selected mine is selected that's why it's blue so you make sure yours is selected and there you have our app and um, if we reload we have all that cool stuff and um, one thing we can do about our app is to make sure that this guy goes to the bottom and um, you remember how we do that we just go to the toolbar that's the toolbar so we can add a class called toolbar toolbar bottom we've done that before and um, when we view reload it comes to the bottom uh, i just want to take this opportunity to tell you that hey this is just the basic framework 7 layout if you don't understand what is happening here in this layout this is this is the body and i just hijacked uh, a basic layout from the framework 7 the io web page from their uh, layouts web page i just copied uh, this sample but then i've told you before that this is views and this is view and um, everything is inside view and this is um, pages everything is inside pages and this is a page inside page is one of the page then um, we have the top navigation bar the never alert then we have a um, we have the bottom navigation bar then we have the page content 
in Pro Work 7, uh, this guy should always be at the top. Although it's a bottom navigation bar, a bottom toolbar, it should always be at the top. All right, that having been settled, let's look at something very interesting. Theming. How do we change colors of stuff and make uh, stuff look cool? Look, look at we have a, an extra CSS file here that is just for theming alone. So let's let's change the color of stuff and make it beautiful. To do that, you come to um, the the containing element. Since we want to change the color of everything, uh, what we we'll do is um, we we'll just have, this is how to change the color. You just declare a class and then um, write theme. Then give the color red. There are so many colors we could use. Uh, for, but first of all, let's confirm that this is working. If we ever have any problem, it's because um, this was not linked properly. That is if we have a problem. So we'll go and uh, refresh. And uh, nothing happened. So what? remember what I told you. Once you have an error like that, you, you inspect element. Then on your inspect element, you go to console to see what really happened. We have two errors, codover.js. I told you this one will always be here. It will be inside when we upload. But then we have um, it's telling us that this guy is missing. And there's an error. It's not reading this guy well. Like I told you, this is the guy here. And um, first of all, what you want to confirm is that whether this folder, whether this file is actually in this folder, which I know mine is there, but um, you just have to check yours. Go to your CSS. And um, make sure that it's there. Material call me CSS. Material colors uh, me. Yeah, it's there. So one thing we can do is to actually um, rename it. I know it's there, but um, I'll just rename it. Retype the name. Doesn't hurt. Material colors. Mm. It's just the same thing. I just retyped it. So let's check if um. Okay. If you observe and if you have sharp eyes like me, you would have discovered something that here we have um. There is a missing quotation sign. Yours may not have this problem actually. If it doesn't have, you just keep it. So um, just go back and uh, refresh and um, we have our red so our app is now red in color this one is not css or anything our links are now red everything is now smartly turned to red uh we have other cool colors and um, we have green we have green it's called teaming we are teaming it to green so we go and refresh and um, refresh and what do we have we have green so many cool uh, colors, and uh, I'll just show you a list of all the colors you could do. We have red, we have pink, purple. I know if you're lady taking this, many ladies like purple. So at the end of this story, I want you to make uh, a add comments and um, in the comment box and choose what your best your best. Um, color is so purple and stuff so this is the full list we have cyan indigo blue light blue um lime yellow amber or rose orange whatever 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 so this is what all you can do all the colors and these guys here are just the color codes of what constitutes the colors you, you don't really need them so um what if we wanted to change only the bottom navigation to be a certain color so i'll go to toolbar and say team so just select any team uh, let's say team blue gray and we refresh so as you can see team blue gray very cool um, so that's just that's just how to get this thing done the, the color thing is very easy so in the next tutorial um, In the next tutorial, we'll be doing other cool stuff. And like I told you, um, this tutorial will not be fun if it's not cool. So that's why we are building a real app. Uh, and you know, um, we'll go into lists in the next tutorial and continue from there. So thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.